What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And it looks like Chicago Scene 88 video about No Limit Faro. He just dropped a documentary on him. It got took down. You know, he posted that on social media. Looked like he stepped on some toes. He said something to irritate somebody. You know, uh, he got a copyright strike. They took his video down. Uh, he showed the world that, you know. That video was dope, too. Chicago Scene 88 put together some dope documentaries. Uh, the thing is that, you know, a lot of them documentaries be incriminating now, you know, even though he put a disclaimer in the beginning that these are just rumors that he hear and he put the videos together based off that. But it seemed like Drench Gang didn't like that because whoever got the video took down uh, something to do with EBK, which I think is linked to like No Limit and them. That's the name of the people who took down that YouTube video. He posted the copyright uh paperwork on his on his instagram you know the thing is chicago scene 88 do videos a lot but most of the videos be on people who passed away you know when he did the faro you know faro is still alive you know he's not dead he's alive and this video you know put shootings and killings and all kind of shit on him and I'm pretty sure, you know, his people, his team didn't really like a video like that. You know, it's different blogging about rumors you hear than putting a video together, a documentary, you know, that's insinuating the violence. You know, that documentary was two hours long. And a lot of the people who was involved in the documentary are still alive. It was open cases being put on them, you know. Um, not saying that, you know, once this information come on the Internet, it ain't like he made the information itself. It ain't like Chicago Scene 88 put it out itself. He got this information as public record. And, you know, he put it together, you know, to J down on, on him. You know, you got to get down on Fox 32 News, too. You got to get down on CNN, too. He just reporting on shit that's already out now. But at the same token, that was a uh, kind of strong documentary. You know, Faro's still alive. There's people alive that was mentioned in that documentary so seeing like herb on them people got a whiff of that documentary and got that shit took down immediately i want to ask y'all the question do you think that's going too far by banning together on youtubers content creators who putting this content together do you think it is a line to walk when the person is alive and his documentaries about bodies and shit getting put on him i love to know what y'all think leave a comment it's the only truth Blech.